we discuss how to create Gantt chart on Excel without Primavera or MS project. This Excel program is of high quality comparable to Primavera or MS project. Any Excel users can create their own project schedule, reliable and effective. Logical as a result of critical path analysis. Based on project calendar you need to complete. Early schedule is based on forward pass algorithm. Late schedule is based on backward pass algorithm. Critical activities are identified. Interactive on direct data entry to worksheet using Excel event procedures, apart from user form. The event procedures are encapsulated in class module, for Gantt chart and progress monitoring. Progress monitoring tool is integrated into Gantt chart. Progress entry based on work packages are rolled up to related activity ID. The activity progress are incorporated into Gantt chart. Users have only to define their activity schedule data and progress data. Calendar, Gantt chart template along with three tier timeline and progress sheet are generated. You can define your preferred colons. You can customize the program by modifying the source code you can download. I assume that we have installed the program for this discussion. You will notice that a dedicated new tab Think Smart is on the ribbon. This is based on Ribbonx custom user interface. You download and install the program for your use or further customization according to what we will discuss at end of this video. The first thing we need to do is to create three worksheets. To do so, press an icon template on the ribbon. Worksheet calendar is generated in the predefined format similar to Primavera XER file for calendar data. Worksheet Gantt chart is generated with more or less standard activity data columns along with three tier daily timeline, year month, weekday, and date. Worksheet progress is generated in a simple format to facilitate progress data entry. Before starting to enter activity schedule data, we need to consolidate project calendar, defining working hours and project non-working days. Project calendar format is same as Primavera calendar data as converted from Primavera XER file. This defines project working and non-work days. Initially, Sunday is taken as non-work day, as day of week type, and December 25th is bank holiday, as exception type. It is necessary to complete the project calendar if the Gantt chart is to represent project schedule accurately. Next step is to make your own project Gantt chart template. This is possible by review the initial template created by program. This does not involve your manual Excel manipulation. To be clear, it is necessary to know initial schedule basis data and initial Gantt chart template. Start date, two months before today date in the timeline. End date one year after today's date in the timeline. Weekly cut off day, Friday. Color. Critical activity schedule bar red. Non-critical activity schedule bar green. Late schedule bar gray. Milestone diamond magenta. Progress bar yellow. Review the initial setup and redefine to your own project using a user form. Press an icon basis of schedule on the ribbon to trigger the user form. Update the user form control data in agreement with your project requirements. Press OK button on the user form to update Gantt chart template and the revised data are stored to become new schedule analysis basis. Now we are ready to start scheduling work. Double click a cell on the worksheet, or press an icon scheduling on the ribbon to activate user form. On the user form, starting from defining activity ID, enter its period on the user form. Enter start date for the start activity. Finish date is calculated considering project calendar. Project start activity does not require predecessor. Enter work package and resource for the activity. Once minimum essential data are defined, OK button is enabled. Essential data are Activity ID to be unique Period Start date Predecessors as required Press OK button 
Defined data are entered to the worksheet. Schedule bar and relationship connections are embedded to the worksheet. You may well want to modify schedule template at this stage. If you want to modify, then it is necessary to refine the basis of schedule. To do so, press the icon basis of schedule on the ribbon to activate the user form. Update and press OK button. Timeline is modified with existing schedule bar and connection will be adjusted to match with the new timeline. Continue next activity schedule data on the user form. Unique activity ID. Period. Start date. Finish date is calculated considering start date, period, and project calendar. Predecessors. Work package and resource for the activity. Press OK button once the button is enabled. Defined data are entered to the worksheet. Schedule bar and relationship connections are embedded to the worksheet. This is to demonstrate interactive scheduling feature. Once you enter essential schedule data, schedule bar, and connectors are embedded to Gantt chart. Enter the data directly on the worksheet. Unique activity ID. Period. Start date. Predecessor. Finish date is calculated considering start date, period, and project calendar. Schedule bar is generated based on start date and finish date. Relationship connectors are generated based on predecessors. Likewise, scheduling works are done using user form or directly on the worksheet. To remove earlier defined predecessors, double click the predecessor in the predecessor list. Command button name delete selected predecessor is enabled. Press the command button. The predecessor is removed from user form and from worksheet. In addition, relationship connector associated with the predecessor is removed from Gantt chart. To define new predecessor, please select preceding activity ID from list box. The new predecessor is added to user form and on the worksheet including relationship connector. This way, we can complete preliminary schedule population. Since the schedule as yet is based on user input without critical path analysis, this schedule appears good but falls short of logical schedule in its entirety. We are ready to make a logical schedule by performing critical path analysis. The preliminary schedule is replaced by the result of critical path analysis. The preliminary schedule is retained but hidden. You can unhide the worksheet if you want to view. Press the icon CPA and bar chart on the ribbon. Three main processes are established. Validate activity schedule data. Perform critical path analysis. Display CPA results on the Gantt chart. Validate data before CPA run. Date data is checked for validation using isDate function. Number data is checked for validation using is numeric function. Activity duration should not be left blank. Uniqueness for activity ID is checked. Check whether predecessor refers to the defined activities only. Circular detection in predecessor successor relation is made to prevent from circular reference. Critical path analysis is run to come up with early schedule and late schedule. Early schedule calculated along forward pass through the schedule. Late schedule calculated along backward pass through the schedule. A critical path is determined with activities of zero float, difference between late schedule and early schedule. Schedules are displayed using shapes of bar, connector. Early schedule, schedule bar with connector. In addition, schedule bar for critical activities is distinguished from that for non-critical activities. Late schedule, schedule bar without connector. Progress, progress bar. Draw a vertical red line. You can select your favored color by using schedule basis user form. Progress monitoring is made daily and based on work package concept. Press the icon progress data on the ribbon to activate a user form. Data entry is established either using user form or directly on the worksheet. When activity ID of the work package is given, reference data are viewed for the activity. 
Reference data are viewed on the user form in case of using user form. Reference data are returned on the worksheet when you enter progress data directly on the worksheet. The progress update is done instantaneously and interactively. When you use the user form, press enabled OK button to populate progress worksheet with progress data given on the user form. The progress data are rolled up into the Gantt chart. The progress data are aggregated activity by activity to present activity progress in the Gantt chart. Actual cumulative is presented by progress percent bar, actual total over plan total in percent, in the cell of column Q, similar to Excel conditional format. Actual start date and latest actual date is the basis of progress bar along the timeline. We discuss how to install Excel add-in for your immediate use or for your customization. Firstly download the program file visiting the site in the description of this video. Next, take the following steps to install the program of Excel add-in. Choose File then Options, and click the Add-ins tab. Choose Excel add-ins from the Manage drop-down list and then click Go. Click the Browse button on the add-ins dialog. Locate and double-click the add-in that you have downloaded from the site. The add-ins dialog box displays the add-in in its list and displays the descriptive information. Click OK to close the dialog box. The add-in is installed. On the ribbon, a new tab named Think Smart is created with five control buttons, template, basis of schedule, scheduling, CPA and bar chart, progress data. To start program run, Go to the new tab and go through this video from beginning. To view source code, go to the developer tab, and press visual basic button. This guides you to the visual basic editor. In the project window of VBE, you will find a project named Gantt chart. The program consists of Sheet 1 and this workbook module. 3 user form modules. 9 standard modules. 2 class modules. The program is password protected. You cannot view the source code without password. Send email to get the password after subscribing to my channel. Detailed discussion on the program source code is beyond the scope of this video since it must be very extensive and complex. Certain essential procedures will be discussed in separate videos. Please feel free to contact us.